Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Thank you so much for clicking in. If this is your first time meeting me, my name is Mecca. I live in the south of England. I grow most of my vegetables. And thanks to God, once upon a time, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue and pain. Yes, these were real conditions. I was in so much pain, I had to give up work. A few things I had to give up and learned how to heal my body using food as medicine. All thanks to God. One major thing was dairy. Yes, cow's milk, even goat's milk, because I tried that, I was sensitive to, because I was also born with eczema amongst other conditions. So now transitioning to heal and be healthier, I had to find healthy alternatives to drink. Not necessarily because I wanted to drink milk, but if I had to have cereal or just having the taste of, you know, like having a dessert. I found a few different non-dairy milks and I started making mine. Now I really would rather encourage you if you can make yours because the ones you buy in the shop a lot of times are full of binders and sometimes things like oat milk, it doesn't really have much nutritional value. Yes, oats are healthy, don't get me wrong, but I could just you could just have porridge instead of having it in milk form. Anyway, I'm not here to bash any brand, but I'm going to show you the latest discovery here, my latest plant milk discovery. Would you like to know what it is? Have a guess in the comments section because it's something that I never knew I could actually make milk out of and it's not a common one, probably because this taste is quite something you need to get used to. But if you have no troubles with the taste, then it's one of the alternatives, cheaper and really, really healthy. That's the important part. It's a really healthy alternative. Yes, it's packed with protein. It's also low in carbohydrates. Yes, and not free milk as well. So it has a lot of things and it's high in vitamin E, which we want for that glow, isn't it? We have vitamin E it has a lot of B vitamins in it as well so it's no other than drum roll is that a good drum roll sunflower seeds now sunflower seeds we know are so nutritious and like sprouting them take the nutrients up a notch so sprouted sunflower milk is what we're making today now this other milks I usually love making this one we have here tiger nut milk this to me is our favorite at home and then if we want to make it even more delicious we can use coconut or add some cashews one or the other but tiger nuts is the base now it's a little bit pricey it costs us about seven pounds a kilo in the uk i don't know how much it costs where you are but that kilo can make about two weeks worth of milk so seven pounds in two weeks is not very cheap but it's cheap in the sense that i know what i have in there and it is good quality milk it's just milk a bit of date salt and cinnamon nothing added obviously water so that is my favorite now we also love making almond milk but almonds are really expensive especially if you're going organic so almonds cost twice as much as tiger nuts in a kilogram and that would also give me maybe about three weeks worth so about 15 16 pounds will give me three weeks worth of milk so these are the economics i have to look at when i'm making plant milk how cost effective is it and how much nutrients do we have in it and the taste as well and then when we look at cashews cashews are even more expensive than almonds actually i really love cashews for like making curries because their milk gives the curry the creaminess that no other milk does but anyway that's one of the reasons why i resort to tiger nuts. but i found sunflower seeds are actually cheaper they're less than five pounds a kilo and they can give me milk for up to three weeks for some reason tiger nut milk runs out quicker probably because we like it the most so we made some organic sprouted sunflower milk it looks a lot browner and i just wanted to show you the tiger nuts in comparison so this is the difference in color but guys it's a good milk to try if you are allergic to nuts and you want to try making your own and it's actually nutrient dense so let's go ahead and make this what you need are sunflower seeds so start with dry sunflower seeds obviously soak it to sprout it it's really easy i have videos on how you sprout but you soak this in water and you just rinse it every four to six hours for 24 to 36 hours i like soaking mine for just nearly two days because the sprouts are a bit longer at this stage now sunflower shoots are really delicious you can actually sprout it longer but i don't think you have a milky consistency because it will be green when you have the sunflower microgreens 
after you've sprouted it you soak this in water and rinse obviously when you're sprouting rinse it with salt salted water now we add this contents the sunflower seeds into a blender jug add it into the blender and add enough water to immerse it like twice as much water or if you want more water if you don't want it too creamy like we have ours here fairly creamy okay when you add the water you can add any flavoring you like we like using some cinnamon i love cinnamon in most of my plant milk so if you don't like cinnamon skip it a bit of homemade vanilla is what we're using here you don't want vanilla you can skip it you can also use nutmeg you can also use nutmeg so nutmeg is another good seasoning and then add some dates we love it sweetened so a bit of dates a couple of dates in a liter is plenty okay we don't want it high in too much sugar blend this thing and using a nut milk bag i get my nut milk bags from amazon I've had mine for nearly nine years now so you could always find like nut milk bag or cheese clothes but nut milk bags are good because they're still they're easier to just squeeze and you squeeze and strain out all the liquid and you have the pulp now you can save the pulp and dehydrate it or add it to your baked goods. Whatever you want to do with that pulp, you can still use it because it's all edible fiber, okay? And you have delicious, delicious sunflower seed milk. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it's added any value to you, if you've learned something, and if you're willing to try it, let me know in the comment section. And please, guys, Give us a like if you've enjoyed the video. And if you haven't yet, kindly subscribe to the video. Kindly subscribe to the channel, I beg your pardon. We want to see you here. We want to show you more things on how you can heal naturally and also save money. Yes, this is a value-added channel. We want to save you money whilst you're healing naturally. Because healing naturally, we all know, is not cheap. So we want to try and do this as cheaply or as, as affordable as we can. If this video has been a benefit to you once again, Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe until next time. I'm your one and only Mecca at Mecca's Healing Journey and I sign out. Bye.